Today, we're going to be looking at DeepSeek, which is a new AI that's just come out from China, DeepSeek version 3. And this has been stated as actually outperforming Claude 3.5 Sonnet, O1 Mini, Gemini Experimental 1206. And these are, bear in mind, like the most powerful models out for these tools. And DeepSeek V3 preview is already outperforming them. So we're going to be running it through some different tests today and showing you exactly how it works. You can see here's some examples of what you can create. So it's actually got like an artifacts preview feature, as you can see right here. And it's a huge model with 685 billion parameters, 700 gigabytes, but you can run it online. We'll come on to that in a second. It's also available for free at Hugging Space, or you can actually get access inside the chat.deepseek.com feature where you can still use the preview along with the search and deep think. Now, these are the comparisons on Livebench as well. So you can see here that DeepSeek V3 is actually outperforming O1. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into DeepSeek and just check what version it is. So just to make sure we are using the right version here, you can see that we are using the latest update from DeepSeek, which is V3. And you see it confirms I'm DeepSeek V AI assistant created exclusively by the Chinese company DeepSeek, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, what you also see at the bottom here is that you can search a web when necessary, and you can also solve reasoning problems. So if you select deep think, you can use this for the O1 preview style response, which focuses more on logic. And then you also got the search option, which will search the internet. We'll come on to how you can use that in a minute. Now, the other thing here is that you can actually get previews directly inside the chat, which is like Claude 3.5 Sonic, except the difference is, of course, this is completely free. It's more updated and it's more powerful from what I've seen so far. Let me show you an example. So we'll start off with something super basic, like just create a Space Invaders game. So we've started off with something basic, like create a Space Invaders game in HTML. You can actually edit the message and then redo the prompt if you want to as well. And now we've got the HTML code, like you can see right here. Now, if we just click on run HTML, here's an example I created earlier. And then if we grab the HTML, grab the CSS, and then copy and paste the JavaScript as well into liveweave.com, which just lets us preview it for free. We can see our game is good to go here and you can move between the different options and it works pretty nicely as you can see. Now let's test it out for creating a website. So I'm going to say create an SEO cost calculator website, brand colors equals, and we'll just hit enter like. We'll plan out the response and then it's going to create the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And you'll see this button for anything like HTML based that you create, right? So you can preview it directly inside DeepSeek. And then you can see you've got your SEO cost calculator as an example right here. And it seems to actually work. So if we type in, so you've got the drop down boxes here, here it's in the brand colors that we recommended and it's good to go with an estimated cost. Pretty simple and easy to do. Now for anything that you're creating in HTML, etc., you can actually just copy that HTML, save it as a text doc, and then drag it into Netlify to host it. So it's pretty simple to get it hosted and to create new websites with this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test out DeepSeek for content creation. So what this content creation prompt that says create an SEO optimized article for this, what is SEO, for example, we'll head into like and see how it performs for content creation. And it's pretty fast actually to respond. That's why I like the content itself is pretty good as well. So it reads pretty nicely. It's got some nice headings. The content is formatted nicely, etc. And that was super simple and easy to create. Check the word count. So it comes out at 650 words. And yeah, for, for content creation, for creating websites, for coding, for, for building out like small apps, super powerful, free to use. And you get responses pretty quickly when you're using this. So for example, if we look at this content right here, how does SEO work? See, it says, think of Google as a librarian. Its job is to find the best, most relevant books for each search query. SEO is about making your book the obvious choice. So the content itself is pretty humanized. It feels and reads quite natural. Let's see if we can humanize the content now. So I'm just going to give it a prompt that says humanize this so it bypasses AI detectors 100% of the time. It must be 100% non-AI detectable. And we can just test as it actually humanize the content as well. I know some people worry about that when it comes to SEO. So I'm going to grab this content like so and we'll see how it performs inside zero GPT. And that actually comes out very AI detectable. So that seems to be one of the biggest weaknesses is it is not great for humanizing content. The content is AI detectable. So it depends if you really care about that or not. From what I can see, the content itself reads pretty nicely, especially the original article that we created. Now, what I'm also going to test is creating a one page website with a more complex prompt. So let's grab that. And I'm going to say, okay, create a one page website for the niche video SEO ranking service. Brand colors must be beautiful. Sleek design Here's a keyword. Here's some information about me. So we're just going to create like a one page website, a little bit like this one that we've built previously, which we actually built with Bolt. 
but you can do the same thing with DeepSeek. And then we'd say link throughout the site to our funnel links, add a navigation bar, etc. Right. We'll hit enter so and see what that comes back with. Now we have the HTML ready to run. So let's hit run on that and see what we get. And it's created the page. It's not bad. The only thing that I would say with DeepSeek, especially is that the design of the page is not that great, right? So for example, if you're using something like Bolt, Bolt is specifically designed right, to, to create nicely designed websites. And so if you want to create these sort of one page websites, like I was talking about here, I think Bolt or Lovable will probably give you a better output simply because it's creating more complex project files as well. Like you can see right here, it's also created for the purpose of building our websites. Now, what we can also do is we can test this inside Claw 3.5 Sonic, because that seems to be a direct comparison of DeepSeek version three, and we can see how they compare side by side. So one thing I do like about Claude is that it actually automatically previews the HTML. We don't have to click on run HTML to preview it. It gives us a canvas straight away, but actually if you compare them side by side, neither of them are ready to go, but I would definitely say that the Claude 3.5 Sonic is nowhere near as good as, as DeepSeek for actually creating the website in one click. And actually Bolt just broke completely anyway. So here's a test, DeepSeek one simply by default because it created a better designed website than Claude and Bolt.new totally broke on us. So judge for yourself, peeps, but I would genuinely say DeepSeek is, is doing a good job there. You just need to, to go back and forth and improve the design, improve the UI, etc. But for a prompt first time round, it does a pretty good job. By the way, all these prompts that I'm going through, you can get inside my free SEO course, link in the comments and description, or just scan the QR code on this video. Inside that course, you're going to get 200 chat GPT prompts with keyword clustering, SEO content with keyword clustering prompts, SEO systems, etc. Pretty much everything you ever needed to know about SEO is inside this free course. And it's probably better than most paid courses, to be honest with you. We're going to go back to DeepSeek now. We'll test out a couple more prompts. So one thing we can test is the search option over here. Honestly, I don't see people ever using DeepSeek with this UI as a search engine, but I think it's pretty useful if you're doing like SEO content research, if you're trying to plan out outlines, etc. So what we can do is we can say, search my keyword, and we've got the keyword right here, which is SEO cost calculator, reverse engineer my top ranking competitors, keywords and content, headings, subheadings, word count, topics, LSIs, etc. If we hit enter like you can see that it searched the web and found 32 results. And then what it's actually done is it's looked at the top ranking competitors content, figured out the headings. It's got examples and sources of each, the recommended word count. So it says the range is from 1,000 to 2,500. I would definitely just check that out for yourself. And then you've got, for example, the topics mentioned, LSIs, entities, etc. That's a pretty useful prompt for just planning out your content, how to create it, etc and what to include on your page because it's planned out the headings, the subheadings, the word count, the LSIs, the entities, and then from there you can just go off and create the content. So for example, if we said, okay, now create the article, based on the research it's done already, it should go off and create the article. And that was super useful, right? So just to recap, it can create games, it can create full websites, it can create SEO optimized content, useful for creating like one page websites with content on the page and additionally for searching the web. One final thing we're going to test now is just creating a new keyword research tool. So I'm going to go to a new chat over here, plug this in. I'll say, create a keyword research tool, drop down boxes to select your preferred AI model. And then we can generate keyword research based on this prompt right here. So I'm going to hit enter. It's planning out as you can see. One thing to note here is that it will try and create it in HTML. Like you can see, I'm going to change the prompt right now. We'll run the HTML. It's giving us a tool. We'll plug in that API key. We'll plug in the keyword research. And you can see it generates a bunch of ideas for us there, along with search volume, difficulty, etc. Super basic, but you could go back and forth and improve the UI on that pretty quickly. And that was with a one click prompt and you can preview it directly inside here. And like I said before, you can do this inside Bolt and other tools, but they break as you can see. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get 200 chat GPT prompts along with 53 SEO tools, two fa a community of 2,600 SEOs that you can ask for help along with all my best tutorials on keyword research, SEO link building, content quality control, topical maps, SEO systems, etc. This is all inside my free SEO course. Just scan the QR code and you can get free instant access to that along with that. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. Discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building. 
and how to 10x your traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.